Thank you. Uh, great to be here. Thanks for your time today. Uh, the product I'm going to talk to you about is FDA cleared, it's CE marked, and it's already in clinical use. So the reason we're here is we're raising money to globally commercialize the product because there's a real problem uh, in, in detecting, diagnosing, and treating lung cancer. In many parts of the world, technology in this space is a blue ocean. They don't have access to the things we have this year or we have in the United States. So it's a very exciting space. If you're not familiar with the details of lung cancer, it's the number one cancer killer uh, in the world. And we do pretty well in the United States because we have so much access to detection in, the terms of, in, in terms of medical imaging as well as diagnosis and then treatment. We have everything available to us. So even in the US where we have the best possible care, uh, the, the, the survival rate is 21%. You hear a lot about prostate cancer, you hear a lot about breast cancer, you hear a lot about colorectal cancer. All three of those together don't kill as many people as lung cancer does. So it's a real problem in the United States. The issue in diagnosis is when the interventional pulmonologist or the thoracic surgeon is going after the lesion they have to conquer two main challenges. And this is true whether they're using a bronchoscope an electromagnetic navigation system like Varin or uh, Superdimension, or if they're using one of the surgical endoluminal surgical robots like the uh, Oris Monarch or the Ion from Intuitive. The two things they struggle with is CT to body divergence and then tool and lesion. The CT to body divergence occurs when you have a pre-op CT that they use for their planning and then they're using that to navigate to the image. They can be off as much as four, uh, four centimeters in some cases. So they're struggling to get to the lesion. And the second thing is once they get to the lesion with the movement, they're struggling to get the tool in lesion. Getting there and getting the tool in lesion, not to the big lesions that are in the center, but more the periphery is very, very challenging. Everybody struggles with it. So what Body Vision uh, seeks to do with our AI is solve, all those, solve that issue. So this is a system. It consists of a brain box, and the brain box is what runs the AI. It could be run on the cloud, but the challenge in the operating theater, if you've ever been there, is if there's any disconnection or any disruption to the connection of the AI to the surgeon, it becomes a very stressful situation, right? So the AI resides in the room on the brain box. A bunch of stuff connects to it, and I'll show you what that is. In, this, in the field with the surgeon is our touchscreen tablet. That's how they control the AI, and that's how they, they orchestrate all the movement within the procedure. And then the third piece, the critical piece, is the board. So the board is a static fiducial board that the AI sees through the C-arm, which is how the AI does its calculations. And I'll go into a little bit more detail, and I'm going to show you a video that really does a better job of explaining it. So, with any C-arm, we capture a 60-degree spin, and for those that are familiar with C-arms, they are everywhere. Every operating room has them, outpatient surgery centers. They're the most widely available interoperative imaging tool there is, a standard C-arm. The images go into the brain box, and what the, what the AI does is it, it, it produces three image sets. The first image set is a multiplanar reconstruction. So we're taking a 2D image, and we're creating an axial, sagittal, and coronal image. The second image it creates is a 3D rendering of the lesion, which helps the surgeon or, or interventional pulmonologist with their approach. And the final is the augmented fluoroscopy. So at the very end, they can, with the body moving, with the lesion moving, they can target and they can go into the lesion. So how does it work? The video will talk you through it. What if you could see exactly where lung nodules are during diagnostic bronchoscopy? Today, it is challenging to diagnose pulmonary nodules because you are unable to see exactly where the lesion is during the procedure. Body Vision's game-changing technology provides real-time intraoperative 3D imaging using any conventional c -arm while allowing you to see the actual lesion and lesion location during the procedure. Because Body Vision makes use of real-time intraoperative imaging, it does not rely on preoperative CT images for lesion location, eliminating any CT to body divergence. 
precisely navigate to the lesion under augmented fluoroscopy, visually confirm tool and lesion in multiple 3D planes prior to biopsy, and then under augmented fluoroscopy, biopsy with confidence, knowing that you see in real time that you are obtaining tissue samples from within the lesion. Clinical studies have demonstrated that tool and lesion confirmation prior to biopsy can result in a diagnostic yield approaching, if not exceeding, 90%. So why continue with blind cloud biopsy when, with body vision, you can employ an image-guided biopsy approach that has been proven to maximize diagnostic yield? With advanced, real-time imaging that is comparable to cone beam CT, Body Vision's intraoperative 3D imaging empowers you to pursue and diagnose lung nodules with greater confidence than you are able to today. Body Vision seamlessly integrates with most sea otters, navigation systems, bronchoscopes, including robotic bronchoscopy platforms and endobronchial tools. Available as a dedicated intraoperative imaging system, for tool and lesion confirmation or a standalone navigational bronchoscopy solution. Body vision enables you to achieve superior clinical outcomes while generating significant opportunities for downstream revenue. Thousands of lung patients have already benefited from their bronchoscopist using body vision's intraoperative 3D imaging to definitively diagnose them. And now, yours can too. Body vision the new standard in lung cancer diagnostics. So we're very excited about what it does and the way it works, there's two ways it works. One, it enhances the performance of the surgical robots. The surgical robots have about a 70% diagnostic yield on their own. They need advanced imaging. Body vision can help with that. But what I'm more excited about in the rest of the world that has no access to the robots, that has no access to the navigation systems because they can't afford it, body vision can be used as a standalone intraoperative imaging slash navigation solution where they can use bronchoscopes and any C-arm to get the same level of diagnostic yield. That's not only important in diagnosis, but the next step in lung cancer is targeted treatment. That means instead of resecting the lung, going after a specific lesion with, a vari with various forms of radiotherapy ablation or targeted drug and or biologic delivery. So not only are we working to improve diagnosis, but we're transitioning in into giving the rest of the world access to targeted uh, therapy. So aside from what we're doing in lung, the platform can be, uh, can be adjusted to also do, as I said, targeted lung therapy, to do work in liver, to do work in kidney, to do work in pain management. So anywhere there's a C-arm, with body vision, we can provide the type of Im intraoperative imaging necessary for these four cases. So if you'd like to learn more, scan the uh, QRC code. If you're interested in helping us bring this technology for the rest of the, to the rest of the world, I'd love to talk to you because it's very exciting. We just launched in uh, four countries, uh, India, Brazil, Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan. We're open for business and we're installing in Europe. So we're ready to go. Thank you for your time.